guys, welcome back to the video today. I'm going to be going over the new Roblox Islands update, the full showcase of this update. So this update is kind of cool. It's kind of small, but apparently they have a bigger update coming in the future. So there is a new workbench, a new sewing workbench, what I'll get into in today's video. But before I start this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell on, and let's get straight into this video. All right, so there is this new sewing station, what is right here, and it looks pretty cool, and you must be curious, how do I actually get this workbench? How can I craft it? So you're going to craft it in the workbenches. So you can only craft it in tier 2s, tier 3s, tier 4s, not tier 1 or the basic workbench. And then when you enter your workbench, search up a sewing. And then you should see right here for 50 iron ingots, 50 oak wood, and 5 steel plates, a sewing station. And if you craft it, you can place it down, and then you can craft all these plushies. So you can craft white yarn and like all the different colors of yarn here and then you use that yarn to craft these plushies. But with this yarn, you have to craft certain amounts. And the thing is, if you craft one white yarn, it will give you five white yarn in return. So if you needed ten pink yarn, you only have to technically use two clay for that. What is really handy. And these plushies need um, a two sewing buttons, most likely at least a fair three bits of yarn maybe some two maybe some four but at least it's from two to four pieces of yarn so you must be a little confused there's a sewing button there's no sewing button you can craft in here well there is an NPC um what is going to be coming next week what you can buy all of this yarn from her and you can buy the buttons of her for like money with coins but for right now you can go to the block sky in the hub and buy them for 1000 coins each. And by the way, if you wanted to see what all the plushies looks like, here are all the plushies here. So they have the DV one, the cat one, the cactus, the otter, the mushroom, the panda, the seal, the slime queen, the cupcake, a shark, and the unicorn and the dog plushie. So there are all the plushies there. You can actually now craft a solid colored blocks in the coloring station. So if you go to your coloring station, you should see solid white blocks, solid pink, solid black, solid white red, solid orange, solid yellow, solid light green, dark green, and cyan, blue, and purple. So this has just got no texture on them whatsoever. It's just a blob of that color. So this is really good for people who want to build a really nice island without the blocks what they don't have. You can got every single one of these colors except brown, what they kind of missed out on there, what would have been really nice. And there is another change. So unfortunately, my video, what I've recently done, is outdated. The Static Scepter is no longer in the game. It is called the Lightning Scepter. This has completely been reworked this update and it's not the best anymore. So they have done some other changes so they have added a show slash hide your join code in the explore page. So if you go to the explore page you should see right here a little icon. What is just an eye and then you click it and it will turn your join code into a bunch of question marks you can unhide it hide it again so you don't have to keep on redoing your code every time you want to hide it or something and then change pet egg stand um names for like so you know what color is each so if you go to pet egg stands in here you should see they have silver purple blue red and a teal they just did a bunch of other fixes like fixed items being deleted when falling into void um fixed permissions menu lock in place when clicking multiple times fixed floating trees in the hub Fixed damage differences between iron and stone swords. Wheat prices have risen from 7 to 11. Kind of funny, 7 11. And then radish prices have been dropped from 64 to 59. Uh, Pharmacletus has recently heard whispering about pineapple prices. That is everything about this, but now we're going to go on and test out the lightning scepter. Well, quote unquote, static scepter. So this item is probably going to go down in price. It's probably not going to be worth around 200 million anymore. It's probably going to go down to probably not even 100 mil, maybe even lower than that. By the way, if you just want a video on like how like all the plushy stuff works, check out the video on my channel page. If you just go to my channel page, it's just be how to craft all the new plushies in Roblox Island. And you can go watch that video if you want to know how to just craft the plushies and you're not interested with anything else. All right, so let's quickly just go to the buffer cores or like something like that. So 
so I can show you what, what this does. Alright, so we're at Buffacore Island, as you can see. And basically, if I hold down and then I let go, it will do like at least how much damage was that? Like, uh, let's see how many chicks it does. One, two, three, four. It does four of 28, and then after a while, it still does like ticks of eight. So it's pretty good. So 28 plus 28 plus 28 plus 28 is, I'm stupid, so I have to get the calculator out, but equals 112 damage every time you hit it perfectly. This is on a buffalo core, and it does eight damage tick afterwards. Like maybe a tick every three seconds of eight damage for like like it does four ticks extra so it's doing still a hundred and like thirty damage each time you hit it what is still really good but it looks like if you have too close to each other it will do less damage but do like the title spell book so let's let's get these two for example and it looks like it's hitting both of them but one of them only gets 10 damage dealt while the other one gets like a lot more I, I, I if that made any sense but it does multiple damage if you have them like close to each other which is really good so this item is actually still quite good when you think about it it's not as good as it used to me but it's a more balanced with the other magical weapons it's still number one for the magical weapons I think in my opinion I, I don't know about the um, the really expensive one the the, the slime queen scepter because that one heals you but this is one of the top weapons and um, title or any of these spell book ones probably the ruby stuff is the next best one but i don't really know it's still just this one is quite good it's not as good as it used to be but i still recommend getting it so yeah this item is quite still good i'm actually quite surprised it's more just balanced to be honest so it hasn't become terrible it's only terrible for slimes yeah that's pretty much it for this update they did say they will be adding more plushies soon and maybe plushy skins so basically think about this as kits but they don't really give you abilities but they're gonna add skins to these plushies as you can see on my leak video what was released an hour before this update it had a pink unicorn but we've only have the white one with us right now but yeah i hope you did enjoy this video if it was helpful make sure to leave a like subscribe to that notification bell on and i'll see you in the next video live stream youtube and now goodbye youtube